Welcome back to our Adventures in Crypto and NFTs with New Zealand Spirit Festival and the Conscious Crypto Circle. My name is Christoph Melchizedek, I'm the founder of the Conscious Crypto Circle and the Neo Shamanic Society. Uh, in this video, I want to take a look at some of the other use cases for NFTs and where are some other ideas where we can take things in the future. Uh, first one I want to talk about is art, that's pretty obvious. Um, we've always talked about art quite a few times as a use case for NFTs, uh, verifying and validating crypto art. I think this digital renaissance, as we go more and more digital in our world, is going to allow us to really create value there because of their unique identifying capabilities. We've got NFT artists and investors can verify the authenticity of artwork and eliminate the chance of forgery. So it's just, that's a unique piece that there is linked to that person. As, your, as someone's brand or, or um, awareness grows, the value linked to that original piece of digital art will grow as well. The other area I think is pretty cool that we haven't really um, examined yet so far on our little uh, journey through crypto land together is fashion. I mean, what's happening right now is you might not know it, but really high-end fashion houses are making their way into the NFT scene. And what they're doing is they're selling physical items with digital companions. So there are you know, way lots and lots of numerous use cases for fashion and clothing where the virtual world and the augmented reality of the world are coming together. One of the things, for example, is that you can, uh, in the future, you'll go shopping, you'll put on a pair of augmented reality glasses, you'll zoom in to New York, go shopping on, on Fifth Avenue, then you'll cruise over to Paris and go shopping there, and as you buy something, you'll collect an NFT uh, for, its, uh, for it in the virtual reality space, and then send that NFT over to the physical shop that will ship that product over to you, validated by your NFT. So there's going to be really interesting to see with the big money um, fashion houses, what they're going to do with NFTs and what creativity they're going to bring and how they're going to link NFTs to some of their more interesting products. The other area where NFTs are going to be thriving is in the metaverse. What is the metaverse? Uh, basically, the metaverse is a virtual world where you can browse and you can buy, you can store your NFTs within your very own piece of virtual real estate. Um, the metaverse has been growing since the personal computer was, was born. It's not new, it's just been growing um, organically from the personal computer uh, across to the internet, which networked those computers together. That was the next stage of the metaverse. The next stage of the metaverse after that was the smartphone. The next stage of the metaverse after that was blockchain technology. NFTs are just this way where we can um, navigate around this uh, combined digital landscape. Uh, the metaverse isn't just like a digital, uh, virtual digital world, it's the extension of our life in the digital landscape, and NFTs allow us to move across that. One of the things I'm really involved in right now is licensing and certification. Uh, at the Neo Shamanic Society, we're, we're producing NFT licenses, which prove what stage of the journey you're at, whether you've done the Remote Healing Mastery six-week course, whether you're in the first year, second year, or third year, or whether you're certified. Uh, I think uh, any of you who are creating uh, certification content definitely explore NFTs um, because it elim eliminates the possibility of forgery and fraud. Which, so it's really helpful for you as a, as a um, certifying organization as more and more gets promoted um, on the uh, internet. I know that if that badge is connected to someone's digital ID, I have certified them through the first year, or maybe the second year, or maybe they're certified through the whole graduation process of the neo Shamanic Society. Um, other ideas is within the Conscious Crypto Circle, we're creating um, NFTs that are assigned to memberships. Um, so if you've got the NFT and you've got this membership, it gives you access to our events. So we're going to creating um, NFTs that give people access to also our exclusive plant medicine retreats. Uh, my wife, Alea, and I run um, plant medicine experiences uh, and retreats, and we sell, uh, we're in the process of setting up to sell NFTs to be able to get access to join those. And so it's really a, um, a beautiful process of um, uh, having people who have come through that experience, then through word of mouth, being able to say, hey, we're releasing um, uh, 10 more NFTs for the root ceremony, uh, go check it out and then we can allow that people to buy that and the market then starts to lift uh, what is the perceived value of that. Another area that's ripe for disruption right now is the music. It's been crying out for digital disruption for a long time. Artists are getting ripped off right now with the Spotify's and, and iTunes of the world. Age old problems in the music industry. NFT royalties are gonna allow music artists to reclaim the full control of their entire creative works by receiving 100% of the royalties owned to them in perpetuity. Um, and what does that mean? Forever. 
basically. And that's due to the smart contract capabilities within NFTs. So I'm excited for all of you artists out there who have um, not had your fair share of uh, sharing that's gone on through the beautiful creative endeavors. And I'm just a big fan of creative artists that well, what you're all bringing to the world is absolutely fabulous. So we can't wait um, to go there. Imagine uh, going to the next festival with um, the shamanic trance dance, which we'll hopefully release soon with Herman Sears. Uh, and Taylor uh, and, and myself and Leia jamming together and having that concert stamped digitally as an NFT linked to the music rights to that. You could be the unique owner of, the, of that main stage gig uh, by having the recording stamped with an NFT, making you, you, know, the, you know, the unique holder of that experience. Uh, any of you who are um, artists out there doing, giving concerts, you know, record your concert, sell it as an NFT, uh, give some uh, rights and privileges to people who own that NFT uh, as the unique holder of that concert experience. It's like, like really the possibilities are, are, are endless on that. The other area is events and ticketing. That's gonna have another whole massive disruption. You know, I think I spoke in another video about the forgery problem that happened at the, this year's Champions League final in Europe. Um, you know, there was there was an extra fifteen thousand people at the game because they couldn't they, they they forged a whole lot of tickets, and so a whole bunch of people couldn't get in uh, who had legitimate tickets, and it crashed at a whole heap of issues that could have been solved through an NFT. So I think that's really exciting. I think um, the New Zealand Spirit Festival in the future will release all of their festival tickets through NFTs. Each festival will have its own unique NFT for the single ticket use. Uh, and, but of course, if you buy a Kaitiaki NFT, you'll have lifetime access um, to the New Zealand Spirit Festival in the North Island. Uh, you'll be one of the unique 120 people that get access for life. Um, so that's gonna be cool for the ticketing. I think uh, gaming and digital collectibles um, digital collectibles inside games uh, are going to be able to be transferred and used in other ecosystems and other games in other virtual worlds and other realities. Uh, so if you can consider that there's a couple, a couple of billion gamers in the world right now, imagine them starting to get hold of what these digital goods inside games can be transferred into outside of the game is going to mean for them when value is assigned to that purchase inside the game. Uh, suddenly a whole lot of um, abilities to generate revenue and income is going to come from the gaming world and I know that many, many gaming uh, blockchain, uh, blockchains are in development right now that are bringing pay to play into the whole world. And while I'm not really into gaming myself or New Zealand Spirit Festival, we're into more gamifying and up-leveling our lives. I'm all about expanding our consciousness. My whole life's been about expanding consciousness and finding the cheat codes to be able to just get the fast track for life. That's why I've been delivering psychedelic medicine ceremonies for over 10 years and supporting people to fast track um, their life. Um, it's all about up leveling ourselves. And this is why I like crypto and the whole world that's going because crypto, the crypto sphere is literally allowing us to move from hierarchy where all the power is held uh, at the center and on top uh, to synarchy where we get to organize and organize ourselves uh, to communicate and connect with one another where the power is held at the periphery or with us, we the people. And in the New Zealand Spirit Festival community, I'm encouraging us to be able to explore NFTs at how we can create our own society of community and connection and of swapping value right within the ecosystem tied in to the value that NFTs hold. So I'm, I'm encouraging you to explore how you can use this technology to bring value to our community, the New Zealand spirit, and all of the people that are involved around here. What's gonna happen for sure, some big players are gonna start entering the space. As more investment starts to pile in, it's gonna really be interesting to see over these next five, 10 years, how NFTs are gonna be adopted to overcome lots of real world issues. And right at the forefront of this is us and our, and our community. So I've been really excited to uh, see you know, where this goes as a group, as an audience together, it's really up to us. Um, I feel that um, New Zealand has a very important role to play in the world. Energetically, what happens is that whatever happens in New Zealand, in the world happens in New Zealand first, and then it spreads out energetically around the world. If you think about all the first things New Zealand's brought to the world, it's not just first light. 
first woman to have the vote. There's been so many things we've done first here. And the way that we can pioneer uh, as a community uh, using NFTs to swap value and to free up our life and to be able to keep um, value within, contained within our community, swapping and sharing and coming up with ideas and creating fractional ownership for an idea or for a community or for a business or for land is wonderful ways we can communicate and leverage the micro power of, of people. And the, and the one thing I just want to finish off in sharing is that, you know, the world is going through an incredible, extraordinary upgrade in the next five years. And it's up to us, we the people, how we bring that into the world. And I really believe that the NFT space is our consumer moment where we can take control of our lives and start to really up leveling society and build it how we want it to be. Do consider checking out the uh, Kaitiaki collection and getting involved and exploring NFTs for yourself. It's been a great privilege and pleasure to uh, you know, give you this little expose into the NFT space. I hope it's seeded some ideas and it's got you inspired to check things out a little bit more. Do consider checking us out at the Conscious Crypto Circle if you want to find out a little bit more. I will provide a little bit more wider blockchain education for our community at some point. It would be a great privilege to support your journey and expose into the crypto sphere. Sending you all my love and catch you hopefully soon at one of the festivals. Whew.